in many ways, the guys that drive those haulers are really the face of our company and really the only folks that many fans are ever going to see. On this episode of Racing on the Job, meet our drivers who don't race cars. Follow them as they crisscross the country, driving our team transports to the track each weekend. No matter where you stop, there's always people, they don't get to see these trucks all the time and it's really cool for them to be able to come up and see them. And, uh, but it's, it's cool to see the, the look on the people's faces when, when you show up and you got this, this big trailer that's just got the sponsors all over it. It's, it's different than a normal freight trailer. There's, there's only 38 of us out there compared to thousands of Swift or JB Hunt or Snyder trucks. So they see it on TV and so for them to see it in, in real life is, is pretty awesome in their eyes. Yeah, they may never make it to a racetrack or you'd be driving through Utah or something. There's no racetrack around there. and That's the closest those, those people will ever get to, to see in NASCAR, you know, with, not on TV. I think the statistic is 5% of all fans actually get to go to a race live. So many fans have only watched it on TV. And when that hauler drives through their state or down their highway, it's awesome, it's a big deal. It's the closest they're ever gonna get to their, maybe their favorite driver's race cars. Driving, driving is probably only 10% of our job, you know, and we're all truck drivers. I've been driving a truck for 30 plus years. And, you know, so it feels good to get out on the road and, and be able to just drive. My favorite track to drive to is Sonoma. I'm originally from Montana, so a lot of my trucking that I did was in that area through Wyoming and Utah, Nevada. Kind of feels like going home. Getting in the truck and driving, actually do that switching out with another driver a couple times is, is kind of nice. And the scenery, like, like the other guys said, out west is sometimes in the morning or at night when the sun's going down is a scenery that you see once in a lifetime, because it's never the same. As many years as all of us been doing this, the sun going up and down is, is completely different every day. Going through Arizona and sunset and the Red Rocks is, is pretty amazing. The haulers are responsible really for delivering the race cars to and from the racetrack 38 weeks out of the year. They're like big giant FedEx deliveries, really important ones every week. They end up taking their cars from here on a Wednesday, uh, travel two to four hours away or even across the country. A lot of these trips are pretty brutal. Uh, a long way to go and a short time to get there. Uh, you go out to Sonoma and it's, I think, 2,700 miles each way. You drive 11 hours a day, but before eight hours, you have to have a half hour off break which is all done by electronically on your logbook, on your cell phone or, or a tablet. Usually when we drive co-drivers, like out west for California, we do like 10 and 10. You know, you don't want to spend 11 hours in a bunk. It's rough roads out there. Haulers get to the tracks on Thursday. We usually park Thursday evening or unload the toolboxes, put them in the garage, get it ready for Friday morning. For the, when the crew guys come in, all we have to do is back the car off and then we go ahead and, and get the hauler set up for the weekend. Once we get there, obviously a big part of the team as far as uh, organizing the truck, making sure all the parts are there, um, helping with the gas and the fuel. And At the racetrack, I mean, we got duties that, uh, from cooking to, to getting parts together for after practice for any changes that we make. A lot of times we'll be running back and forth to the truck getting stuff. Not only do our hauler drivers uh, get everything there and work their butts off during the weekend, they also cook for the crew. Yeah, there's a, a big difference in, like when we say we cook at the racetrack, we're cooking on a barbecue grill and you gotta cook an entire meal. Uh, you don't have running water or a sink or 
anything like that. You got to come up, try to be creative and figure out what you can cook on the grill. I mean, you can cook brownies or cookies or cakes or you side dishes. You, you can cook anything on a grill. You just got to figure out how to do it and keep from burning it. And remember, some of these races end really late. So whenever the race ends, I can tell you they're the last ones to leave. Usually an hour after the race is over, we're loaded up completely and on the road. And hopefully one less car. If you win, the car goes NASCAR. So it's a good, good start there. And they can have interesting drives home. Uh, the haulers are often greeted with a lot of, a lot of horns and thumbs up. Um, sometimes if the race doesn't go so well, you're greeted with a lot of horns and maybe not thumbs up and maybe something else, other gestures. Pulling out of Martinsville last year, had a great fan throwing beer cans at me. Yeah, last year, Pocono, anyway, after the race, we got loaded up and we we're sitting out in traffic and I noticed the car ahead of me, there's two kids in the back seat. The one kid was showing, had an iPad, then it had uh, m and stuff on the iPad. So I got out, ran up and gave them two hats and asked them, you know, if they enjoyed the race or whatever. So he wrote a pretty good letter back to, to Joe Gibbs himself and it, stating that, you know, it was, it was pretty, pretty nice what I'd done considering the day that I had. So it's, it's little stuff like that that picks you up. You know, when you have a bad day, you know, granted it wasn't that that day, but it, you know, the next week, it's like, you know, makes us a little bit prouder to be a hauler driver for Joe Gibbs Racing. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Racing on the Job, where you got to learn a little bit more about uh, the guys who drive these awesome haulers that are behind me up and down the road every week. And before we sign off, I want to give a shout out uh, to these five guys. So for the first time in history, one organization swept the top five positions of the annual Hauler Driver Challenge. So this is a season long battery of, of driving tests, written tests that figure out who's the best of the best. And not only did for the first time one organization sweep the top three with Thumper and Slim and Ken, uh, but Montana and Josh with this stunt double over there, Miko, uh, rounded out the top five with one organization winning top five. So these guys get it done. Um, it's world domination for JGR hauler drivers and we're really proud of them. Thanks for watching.